Hey everybody, you can't tell at us, this apparently. is Cynthia, Global Traveler Realty. You never know where I'm going to be traveling. I happen to be in Pine Creek, Pennsylvania with my cousin, Hi. Kathy, and she's awesome at pottery. So she's going to share a little bit about her passion, what she's doing, and how you can get some. What you got for me, cuz? Uh, well, I started doing pottery about 15 years ago because I felt like I needed a creative outlet. Mind you, I am not the most creative person on the planet. So I focused on what I would call functional pottery. I wanted stuff people would actually use and could use. So I said, you see a lot of pottery, people treat it like it's precious. This is a very earthy material and it's meant to be used. And so everything I make is useful. Two pots. Beautiful. You get your mugs, as I already showed you. You have what I call a soup mug, but you are welcome to eat ice cream out of it because then you can travel with it. Cereal, same <laughs> Traveling. Who doesn't want to travel with ice Why cream? Why would you not travel with <laughs> ice cream? Uh, your bowls. Everything is food safe. Everything is microwavable, but I do caution people with stoneware. It gets very, very hot in the microwave. Uh, you pull it out not expecting it to be hot and you dropped it. She was microwave safe, not floor safe. <laughs> so that would be the problem. Yeah, I never happened. So, yeah, mostly, like I said, what I focused on was functional. And then I started deciding that there was no reason you couldn't make it more decorative. So I started etching things into it. I had to laugh. People have commented on my handwriting. If you see it on paper, it isn't legible. I do it on pottery, and you can absolutely tell what it says. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that on pottery? Would you use a little stick? I actually have a stylus that you can use. It's a regular tool that you can use to do it. Same way you have tools to create the foot on them or to actually put the holes in the teapots so they pour. They have obviously worked this out. Back in the day, people probably did this the hard way. Now they make things for people like me where it's much easier to do. <laughs> cool, so there you have there it. You have We've it. got pottery from my cousin, uh, Kathy, and we're in Pine Creek if you're out there and about today. Absolutely. How long does this go on? This will be on today and tomorrow. Um, and they do a regular show here. They call it a maker's market. They do it uh, one Saturday a month through from basically May through October into in December, November, I think, if the weather's good. I think they quit right about there. Cool. Was, We're yeah. at Pau House Taxidermy in Pine Creek. We'll see you here. Cynthia, Global Traveler Realtor. Bye.